Hi, hello everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me today. Um, I'm in between projects and I'm I'm struggling a little bit to get motivated and get going on another large project. Um, so I thought I'd just go back and revisit a few things that I've been trying to get finished off that I've kind of put to one side. Um, I've been making um, tab bound books in between projects and I had started um, one using Andrea Allen, that's Artie Mazer's um, collage taster kits. And she's got them in different colours, the kits. She's got a green one and I've used that a couple of times and I've made a few green tag books. Um, she's also got pink, blue, yellow and purple. And I'd started thinking about the purple one ages ago, ages and ages ago. And I'd put it all to one side um, and I was just doing some sorting out and I found the papers that I'd printed at the time. Um, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll pull it out and give it another go. So... I've got a few purple papers. I've printed Andrea's purple medley kit and I've got all the ephemera and bits and pieces that go with that. So I've got all those printed out, good to go. Um, I've got Mrs. Cog's, I think it's called, oh, it says it on it, Lavender in the Garden. And that's all kind of lavender in the garden. So that's all purpley as well. So that's my ephemera kind of bits and pieces that I'm going to work on and use. And then um, I think these papers are from Andrea's um, purple medley kit as well. And then somewhere in this lot, I've got her, the collage kits. Um, I've just printed there four to a page, but these are the collage kits in the purple. Um, and actually, you, you could use these as they are. You don't have to do anything particularly with them. They are really, really nice. Some are plainer um, and some have got the purple on. But I really like them. Um, and I thought, right, just get going with it, Carol, and stop faffing around. So what I've done is, same as before, all that I use is I've got some um, card, a uh, scrapbooking card, that I don't particularly like this not this one because I do like I like this pattern I'm not so keen on the on the push bikes on the back but this is kind of, of a purpley colour so I might well use this but this is kind of the thickness that I've been using that I've been collaging on so I don't know what weight it is maybe 180 I'm not too sure but it's quite it's quite flexible still and what I've done is the scraps that I've got. Oh God, I've got all sorts around me, folks. I've used the collage sheets to collage. Um, and you could actually just stick the collage on, the paper on. You don't have to tear it up. But I have. I've kind of ripped them up and mixed them up and about. And I've added some purples in as well. And I think that purple might be from Rachel Rox's Creations. So I've kind of done, that's what I've done. And then I just cut this to the size that I want. Ta-da! So these are cut. Not ever so accurately by me, I wouldn't have thought. These are four inches wide and seven inches tall. And I'm saying that. <laughs> I could be completely telling you wrong. No, four inches by seven. And they're going to be the base of my tags. And I've just cut them up. Some are more decorated than others. They've got purple on them. And these will be bound with the fabric tabs to make a, a journal or a booklet or whatever, whatever you want to call it. So you can see some of them are more than others. Now, I've got more decoration on than others, I think. Um, the other ones that I've done, I've used four of these cards and then a couple of other things like um, an envelope and an envelope that I've made and that worked quite well and then I put a little like a little tiny journal book in it as well so I think that's what I'm going to do but I could make I could make it eight so that would be six pages but I could do more because I could include this and make this into um a pocket of some sort. Um, so I'm, I'm undecided. I'm going to see how it goes. So I think what I'm going to do is make the ephemera. I'm going to make two of these because I've got enough. Um, I've got at least eight of these 
when I cut the other up, when I cut this up as well, I'll have eight. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the ephemera to decorate these and then decide how many I want when I see how thick it is, if that makes sense. Um, I've kind of been playing because I didn't know what I wanted to do and I didn't know if I was going to turn the camera on or not. Um, and I've had a few comments. Um, shall we say that maybe I'm hoping the people were trying to be constructive, but it certainly didn't come across as constructive. Um, and it's kind of put it put me off doing a video, to be quite honest. And then I thought, get a grip, Carol. Not everybody's going to like what you do. So here we go. I've made this as a starting point and it's just an envelope that I've coffee dyed. Um, and I've flipped it up to make a pocket. So there's a pocket there and there's a pocket there. And then I've made this little booklet to go inside it. And I've put the little Tim Holtz boys there and it says great things take time. And I thought it looked as if they were sitting on a garden wall. Um, and that just goes in that pocket and it's got papers inside it in the in the using Andrea's papers. And there is also a pocket in the back to hold a tag. So I'd done that, put some of the collage paper on the back of it. And then my intention is to add one of the Tim Holtz ladies. And I've used, I'd ordered myself a couple of bits and pieces of Tim Holtz. I hate to use it when I get it because it's not cheap um, and it takes me ages to save up. But I've used the frosted crystals and I really like the effect on that paper doll. So she's going to be going on there with some, I always get these wrong, with some butterfly wings. And these are from Tracy Fox. So she's going to have butterfly wings and she's going to go on the back of that. So that will be one page of it. I hope that makes sense to everybody. So because I want to make a couple of these tab journals, I'm just going to put her in there so I don't lose her. Um, I thought we could make another one of these and just, just have a play. I've got an envelope. I have an envelope. Um, it's one that I've coffee dyed and I've laid the plastic papers on it, the plastic mats on it, just to give it that effect. Um, and I'm going to do the same kind of thing. So there's going to be two purple tab journals or booklets um, that are going to be the same but slightly different. So I need one of the tags to make sure that I'm getting it the right height. So this is one of the tags. Um, and so this envelope will also be a page because it's going to be hinged in. trying to think and so I want I don't want this to be any taller than this tag because I want them all to be roughly the same height I don't mind if it's a little bit smaller but I don't really want it to be any bigger so if I folded it there then it will be the same so it'll have a little tuck spot just there and a pocket here I've already put some paper there just to strengthen because there's going to be a side tag in it so I've just cut down the edge so it's four inches. I hope that makes sense to everyone. Um, yeah, shall we give it a go? Let's give it a whirl. See how we get on. Quite like that on there. Um, on the other one, with the other one, I made this pocket a little bit deeper with some extra paper. Um, so I think I might do that. I've got so many bits and pieces around me, haven't I? Too many, Carol. I'm going to put these to one side because they're copied. They're double-sided copied. Um, this isn't double-sided copied. I think this is one of Rachel's as well. It's kind of got very faint purple lines in it, but I think it goes nicely with that. Right. Crack on, Carol. Too much yakking and not enough doing get rid of the white round the edge so I hope you're all doing okay I think um, excuse me tearing this paper while I'm trying to talk I think we all at times get kind of a bit of a blockage when we're we're trying to make things I hope we do anyway I hope it's not just me um, but it's kind of frustrated me because it's not it's not like me <laughs> I like to crack on and when I finish one project I like to move on and do another just going to cut this 
because I think I want these big flowers to be on the pocket. It's not particularly straight, so I will straighten it up. And I'm saving all the little bits and pieces because that's what we do. So I'm just going to level that bit up. So on my envelope, and you know, you probably know how to do this yourselves. So I'm not, I'm not trying to teach you all to suck eggs, as they say. But I think that would look nice as a bit of a bigger pocket. So I think that I am going to put it off about there. And then this will fold, go on there and fold over and it'll be a bit of a bigger pocket. About there maybe. There we go. So that's what I want to do. I want to stick it on there to be a bit of a bigger pocket. I don't need it quite as wide as that. So I'm going to cut a bit off. And I'm going to ink the edges just because I can. I think I've got um, a darker one here. It's walnut stain. Um, obviously, this envelope, I could have had it as a top loading envelope, but I've, I've made the decision to make it a side opening one. Why not? And then on the back of it, again, this will have one of the Tim Holtz ladies with butterfly wings. I've got I've got one laying around somewhere that I did. I did two of them in the frosted crystals. Where's she gone? Ah, she's here. So I've got that lady to go on here. And I have got another little doily, purple doily, that I'll need to trim down. So it's going to be kind of the same, but obviously different because it's different peoples. I'm going to lose that lady if I'm not careful. And the butterfly wings if I'm not careful. I could have stuck the other um, lady on that envelope. Sorry, I'm nattering, aren't I? I could have put her on this now. I could have stuck her on. But because I want to do it as a tab bound journal, I don't know if this is going to have two tabs or three tabs. If it had two tabs, then that lady won't interfere with it. She's going to be a tuck spot. But if it's got three, I don't want to be putting the third tab over that because I think it won't work. I want to put the tab underneath it and stick that to it. So until I know where she's going to go in the journal, I'm just going to keep her safe in there. Put her to one side, if that makes sense to everybody. In other words, I haven't got a Scooby-Doo what I'm doing. That's really what I'm saying, isn't it? Never mind. I get there in the end. Once I get going with the project, I'm usually OK. But it's it's been a busy time for us here as well. I've, um, I'm going to stick it on here. Being careful not to glue this bit here because that's going to be a pocket. So I'm going to put glue carefully on here. Um, it's quite a busy, well, it's been a, couple a busy couple of weeks for me as well and that kind of interferes in trying to um, do videos and things um, we've been away for a few days walking in Derbyshire and that was just it was lovely a bit chilly a bit nippy you never can guarantee the English weather can you um, but it's been really nice just getting away and doing some walking which is what we like to do and I've done what I didn't want to do look I've put glue there Yarn a bum carol. Put that on there. I don't want to glue that bit. That's what I'm trying not to do. There we go. And then that is going to go on there like that. That makes sense. So then we have that little pocket there. That's... I'll find something, some of the ephemera can go in there. 
that will get glued down and because I want this to be a pocket to accommodate one of those little booklets I don't really want to glue down both sides because then you lose like a quarter of an inch on either side of your pocket so I'm going to glue that side down wish that was a little bit closer up there that's better um, but I'm not going to glue this side down I'm going to tuck it into the envelope opening because that gives me that little bit of a bigger pocket so I'm not going to need let's fold that over because that's going to get folded in so I'm not going to need this little bit here And I'm not going to need that bit there and I'm not going to need that bit there. So this I'm going to glue to the back to make it that tab. Um, increase the pocket, that's what I'm doing there, isn't it? Put some glue on there. Glue that edge down. This glue is nearly empty. I think you can get refills for this Tombow glue. I don't know how it comes apart, though. That's a little bit of a worry, isn't it? <laughs> Hubby will know. He'll know. So then that's going to go on there. And then this is going to glue inside there so that I've got all that pocket space. So I hope that makes sense because then I've got that pocket there and that one will glue down. So can I glue this now? I don't want to cover that. I'm not going to cover that. I can glue. I don't want to glue that flap shut, but I do want to glue this bit. So let's let's do oh, Carol. Let's just put some glue along there. And then along here. Because this is going to be on the back, although I am going to cover the back with a piece of paper so that can go there and glue. It's all wrinkly because I tea dyed the, um, sorry, just reaching for my flattener thing. Um, I tea dyed the envelope so they go a little bit wrinkly, don't they? So I've not closed that bit up. I don't know if you can see that. So now I can close this front flap. So I'm going to put some glue along here because I want to glue that up and then I'm going to fold this inwards to give myself a little bit extra room in that pocket. So when that folds up like that, that's going to get folded into the envelope. And that is going to stick there. Like that. So that gives me all of that bit of pocket and then that bit just there is closed. I hope that makes sense. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I just need to make something to go inside of there, the same as the other one that I did. So I'm just going to move that out the way. And I'm hoping that I can use one of these. I think, they're, I think they are the right size or the same size. Um, it's of a lavender field from a book that I had. And I thought that it might just work to make the little pocket. It, I don't think it'll be, well, it's not going to be the same as the other image on the other book, obviously, because it's a different image. So it's a different size. So I don't know if I will be able to um, put a pocket on the inside or not. But we'll see. We will see. I'm just thinking. If I was to. This is a little bit of trial and error, folks. If I was to. Fold. This bit under. That could be my tab to make it a pocket. No, it's a lot smaller, isn't it? 
Okay, well that's okay because what I can do maybe is that's going to be See, if I fold it like that, like the other one, it's way too small, way too small. But somewhere I've got the other, oh yeah, I've got the other image here. So what if I was to stick that on? That might work, might not. <coughs> Excuse me. See, I hadn't thought this through. I hadn't thought this through. How big am I going to need that? Three. It needs to be about three and a half inches on the back page. So if that was to go like that, I need this bit to be three and a half inches for it to fit in that pocket. So that would be to there. That is three and a half inches on there. So I was thinking maybe I could use this to add on the back. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, folks. <laughs> I'm trying to join this so that it's got a pocket the same as the other one. But I know I'm not going to match the picture up correctly um, and I'm thinking it doesn't really matter because I can add that on there and then this this will fold to be a pocket so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to do it I'm going to put some glue where am I going to put the glue I'm going to glue this and I am going to glue down here. I think this is um, a herb book based on some of the Edith Holden. I think that's what it is. I've had it for quite a while, this book, and I was just flicking through it looking for an image of something and found these images. Now I know it doesn't match up properly, but it's glued on. So that is the flip. That's gonna come over like that. It's gonna have the papers on top of that as well. It's not a bad match. And so this one, I want to be less than three and a quarter because it's going to be a pocket. So it's going to be there. Could have gone a bit bigger than that, I think. Not three and a quarter. Oh, it was three and a half. Oh, you nana. You are a nana. Never mind. I'm going to flatten that. And I'm going to do it at just less than three and a half. Just that little bit bigger. And then I'm going to cut that extra bit off. I don't need it, but that might make a nice tag, mightn't it? Might indeed. Get those out of the way. So I've got that flap there. That's going to fold over there. And this is going to be a pocket down here. And I'm okay with that. And with a bit of luck, that will fit in the pocket.
and it does too tall so I'm going to cut some off the top because I don't want to lose the the lavender so it needs to be a bit less than seven inches let's go six and three quarters then I hope this is making sense to everybody how I'm making this little tuck so that's going to go in there like that I'm happy with that yes I know you've got that fold there but that's going to join up there to be a pocket I'm just looking to see if I've got a hole punch use my super duper punch here And then the papers are going to go in there. So I'm going to join this up as a pocket. A bit of scrap paper to go across the bottom. I always do like to put a, a hint. A, well, I suppose it is a hinge in the bottom because it just means you can put your tag in that little bit easier. It gives the pocket that bit more space. wet glue is not working for me let's go in there can close up as that pocket there okay some glue so I hope you're all doing okay and I guess this this per the or these purple tab books will follow a similar format to the one I made before which is what I wanted to do I wanted to do a series of of like the bright tab books so I wanted them all to be similar in style with the same sorts of pockets but with diff obviously different because it's different colours different papers and all the rest of it there we go so that will go in there like so and it's going to have a pocket just there and it's going to have papers so what sort of papers um I've got these ones that have been copied on the opposite sides. That one's green. So this is where I have to get my thinking cap on because that's an inch and a quarter. So I want this one to be about an inch and three quarters wide. An inch and three quarters. I'm going to go a bit more. And then that will go in there like that. So it's going to have a couple of pages. And I did that six. Did I do it six and three quarters? I did. So if I cut these at six and a half. And if that measures roughly. Three and a half, did we say? A bit less than three and a half. That should be paper one. Yep, I can take a bit off there when I've done. So that's one paper. I'll do that one that way. I'm not sure it's going to be wide enough. So that measures two inches. So I'm going to do this one about two and a half it might not be wide enough but we'll give it a go so it 
to want it to go that way, don't I? So that we've got the purple there and we've got the blue there. Oh, that looks pretty. Yep, that worked. So I said six and a half. And it wants to be no more than three and a half. That's fine. So it goes like that. Can you see? So it's got different papers coming there. And I think that works. I'm going to take a little bit off the edge of that one. Just so it doesn't stick out quite as far. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew down that line there. So bear with me a moment. OK, so sorry about that. Just wanted to stitch down it. So you can probably, I don't know if you can see or not. I've stitched down the spine on my sewing machine. So then that is just a little booklet. with just some little pages in that you can write in or decorate or do whatever you want. And then you've got that pocket at the back. So I'd like to put something on here, the same as I did with the other one. Um, some little Tim Poults people here. I can't really do a sitting down. Do you think they could be walking in the lavender fields? They could be taking a walk in the lavender fields, couldn't they? Got the little girl, she looks a bit diddy on her own, doesn't she? You could have a lady dancing. Oh. Why wouldn't you not dance in a lavender field? I think I, I think I like the little girl dancing. Are you all gonna think I'm potty? Because <laughs> shall I look again? like pot look in these bags isn't it what you get and what you don't get I don't want a city down person do you know what I like the lavender the little girl dancing in the lavender field because it would smell amazing wouldn't it so why wouldn't you want to go and dance your heart out in a lavender field so that you little people can go back for another time and then I wonder if we can find Simple. It's hard to read these sometimes, isn't it? Fall in love with as many things as possible. Throw kindness like confetti. You're capable of becoming more than you realise. That's a good one, isn't it? Let me have a little read. One minute. Okay. The one that I've picked says, if you're lucky enough to be different, never change. And I think she is different because she's brave enough and bold enough to go and dance in those fields. So I'm going to glue her on. Um, if my camera goes in and out of focus a little bit, I do apologise. Um, a video on my phone. I don't know what else to do. If it annoys you, I'm sorry. That's all I can say. <laughs> and if I go off screen a little bit sometimes, I apologise. But I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing. So how do I want, I want to cut this. If you're lucky enough to be different, never change. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to snip it at if you're. And these will go on wonky. I know that. They do do.
if you're lucky enough Lucky enough to be different. I think you can always find the right sentiment in the Tim Holtz words to go with his little people. To be different. never change and we're all different aren't we be a boring world if we weren't wouldn't it never change that was hard work wasn't it getting them glued on so there we are if you're lucky enough to be different never change and that <laughs> if I had the envelope <laughs> That is going to go in that envelope pocket there. I don't want to push, be careful because they're still wet. But you can see her dancing, just peeking over there, dancing. And I'm going to put another tab in there. It's going to have something in here. And I've lost the other lady. I'll put, oh, I put her here. I'm going to put her on the back and she will have some um, angel wings as well. I don't know which. It depends what um, paper I put down behind her. But I've got some pink ones. I, these angel wings are from Tracy Fox, Love Junk Journals. So she can be pink or she can be not so pink. I'll, I'll have a look and I'll have a play and I will decide. So I'm going to put those one, two. I've lost one of those. Never mind. Oh, here it is. So they will go in there as well. So I just want to keep the bits and pieces together and I'm going to back that as well. The same as I did the other one. It's just at the minute it's a little bit wet from gluing it. So that's that one done so that as I say we'll have tabs on this side whether it's two or three if it's two I need to be careful that it doesn't cover that pocket and it's that's something to think about but if it is two then I'll just snip the fabric so it goes over that pocket so that that little girl can still go in there so I hope you like that and then I'll get a journal card to go in there as well. And I don't think that's, seen, that's bad there. And after all, it is a junk journal. Nothing is perfect, is it? Perfection is not guaranteed. So that's that bit. Um, I'm not going to keep them in there because that's still a bit of a damp pocket, but I'm going to keep them on top of it. OK, so I've got two. I've got two pockets that I've done. That one's finished all but adding the lady. That one I'm going to add a piece of paper on the back. So that's those two. Um, so what else did I want to do? I don't know. I need to cut. I need to cut this paper and then I need to kind of decide what I'm doing. So I'm just going to cut these pages with you um, and then I'll let you go. You don't really need to see me cut these papers, to be fair, do you? So I can cut a little bit off the top. I've done this slightly bigger, uh, slightly taller than seven inches because I like to neaten the edges. And I do think that I am going to um, stitch round these. I think I am. I think I'm going to stitch round each of these maybe before I add whatever's going on the pop on the fronts of them maybe a bit undecided 
I think I will. I do think I will. Okay, and then I've this, it's a 12 inch piece of um, scrapbooking paper or scrapbooking card. So I can just cut three pieces out of this at four inches each. And then I've got more than enough to be playing with. So that's one, three and a half, four. Again, I've had questions about my ruler. Um, my ruler is a quilting ruler because I quilt as well as make journals. Um, and the markings on it are at, oopsie, and that should be four inches as well. Yep. So the inches are, it's in inches. One side has um, an extra half inch and the other side is quarter inches. So it's inch, half inch, quarters and eighths. So I find it perfect for journal, junk journaling. Um, I know not everybody likes to use them, but I do. Um, personal preference. But there we go. So I've got three more there. And the different on the other side. And these are what I'm going to use as my pages. Okay, so that's me so far. I've made a start. Um, I hope you like it and I hope you stick with me to finish this these off. And I'll see you later. Take care, folks. Bye.